I'm Hannah, and this is Is It Bad? The show where we answer all of your burning cookware questions. Today, is it bad to use a wooden cutting board? Cutting boards are a kitchen essential. Whether you're slicing scallions, breaking down a whole chicken, cutting bread, or chiffonading basil, you need a good board. But there are a lot of options out there. Wood, plastic, bamboo, glass, stone, composite, and more. We've evaluated all sorts of cutting board materials, and we've learned a few things along the way. We've learned that glass and stone are not good for cutting board materials. They're so hard, they'll really do a number on the edge of your knife. Here at the Test Kitchen, we actually use a glass cutting board if we need to dull a knife quickly for a demonstration. Composite boards work fine, but they tend to have a funky odor, kind of like wet dogs, so we avoid them. Bamboo boards are okay, but they can have durability issues. We've seen warping and splintering in some of the ones we've tested. So that leaves us with two materials, wood or plastic, and a heated debate. Which material is best? Something you'll often hear people say is that it's unsanitary to cut raw meat on a wooden cutting board. The theory is that because wood is grained and more porous than plastic, that germs can get down into the cracks and crevices, and wooden cutting boards typically can't go in the dishwasher. Some people take the extra step of spraying down their wooden cutting boards with a bleach solution. What's wrong with good old-fashioned hot soapy water? Is that not enough to kill dangerous germs? How much of a hazmat situation are we talking about here? We don't mess around with nasty things like salmonella, so we had to know if this was true. Especially because wooden cutting boards, like the Test Kitchen's favorite here from Protein, can be really beautiful and pleasant to work on. To get to the bottom of these questions, we sent a stack of cutting boards off to an independent laboratory to see if one of the materials harbored more or less bacteria after washing. We sent plastic, wood, composite, and bamboo boards. Bamboo actually has antibacterial properties, so we wondered if it would have an advantage here. But the lab found that material didn't matter at all. All four materials were equally capable of getting clean. And as for how to clean them, hot soapy water or bleach, again, it was a tie. Both methods were equally effective at reducing bacteria levels to 10 colony forming units per board, which is apparently how they measure this kind of thing. But we understand that some people might still be squeamish about cutting raw meat on a wooden cutting board. So we have some ideas for you. To be super safe, you can wash your board in hot soapy water like usual, and then spray it down with a bleach solution. One tablespoon of bleach to one gallon of water is best. If you don't want to deal with that, you might want to consider a flexible cutting mat. Our winner here from Dexas is light and super easy to use. You can just prep the raw meat portion of your meal on it and then throw it in the dishwasher when you're done. So, is it bad to use a wooden cutting board? The answer is no, it's not bad. As long as you use hot soapy water, a wooden cutting board will get just as clean as a plastic board. To keep them from cracking, splitting, or warping, it's best to oil them periodically, never put them in the dishwasher, and dry them right after washing. As for which material is best, it really comes down to personal preference. You might hear that plastic dulls knives faster, but the jury is still out on that. So, if you're debating which board to buy, consider what material you like working on, how your knife feels and sounds on the board, what size board fits your needs, and how much board you're willing to lift, carry, and clean. I like the look and feel of a wooden cutting board, but it's really a matter of personal preference. All right, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to ask your own Is It Bad questions in the comments. Check out the links to our winning cutting boards in the video description, and hit that subscribe button below.